By now, you have probably seen that all of the major cell phone carriers, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, are offering the iPhone 13 for free. Now you might be thinking, wow, what a great deal. What do I have to do to get it? Well, you're gonna have to sell oh, your soul to, to these carriers. carriers. <laughs> and by that, I mean, you're gonna have to pay a hefty price that's hidden and you might not expect it because you might think, the iPhone is the price, right? Not the case. Whether it be with T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T, we're gonna take a specific look at AT&T in this video, and I'll break down the deals from Verizon and T-Mobile in other videos, but you'll still get a good general idea of what is happening in the industry, and you'll be able to decide which carrier has the best deal for you. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Out TV. Publish about two to three videos per week. I'd love for you to join along if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. We're also active on every social media platform ever. We got TikTok, Facebook, uh, we are posting to Shorts now, Twitter, all of it. There's a lot, there's a lot. So if you like to get deals straight in your feed for all of the best cell phone plans from the carriers and internet plans as well, we have got you covered in that arena. Now, without further delay, let's jump into these trading deals and look at this cost breakdown to find out what's going to be best for you. Okay, so what is the deal? How do you get a free iPhone 13 from any of the major carriers? Well, here are the basics. You're gonna have to trade in your phone. Any phone from the last three to five years is gonna be worth something. The newer the phone, the more money. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to buy an iPhone 13 through installment plans. Now those installment plans can be anywhere from 24 months at the earliest, Verizon has that, to 36 months at the longest, which is AT&T's installment plan. Normally with installment plans, as your bill comes every month, you pay it off. But with this trade-in deal, your monthly installment plans are going to be canceled out depending on how much your phone is worth. If your phone is worth $1,000, then you won't have any installment payments to pay off. Your carrier will cancel those payments out each month. And that's the basic gist. That is really all you need to do. But there is one more caveat. To get the free phone from any of the major carriers, you have to sign up for one of their most expensive plans. For AT&T, you have to sign up for their $75 plan unlimited starter. I meant extra. For T-Mobile, you have to sign up for their most expensive plan, Magenta Max, which is $85 per month. And with Verizon, you have to sign up for one of their three most expensive plans that start at $80, then go to $85, then $90. So you have your choice of three with Verizon and you have your choice of two with AT&T. You only get one choice of T-Mobile. So what ends up happening here is that although you get the iPhone 13 for free, which in theory sounds nice, you're stuck paying a pretty expensive monthly cell phone bill. Now, if you have a family plan, then it's going to be much cheaper. For instance, I'm on AT&T Unlimited Elite. That is a pricey plan on AT&T all by yourself. It's about $85. I have six people on my family plan, so it comes down to under $40 a month for that. So family plans are always better pricing. You get a better deal. I am strictly going to be looking at single line plans right now. So from here, I'm going to do a quick cost breakdown of what it looks like if you traded in a phone and got the full amount back for say $1,000 for the iPhone 13 Pro, what your cost is gonna be like over the course of the next 36 months. So with AT&T, with a $75 a month plan, unlimited extra, not starter, AT&T's installment plans last 36 months, three years. Over the course of three years, you'll have an, a free iPhone 13, but you'll also be, be paying $2,700 in cell phone bills, which is kind of a lot. Again, like I said, if you're on a family plan, then that cost per line does go down. But for a single person, $2,700 over the course of 36 months. Now let's take a look at T-Mobile's trade and deal, what that cost comes to. So for 30 months on T-Mobile's installment plan for $85 a month, you're looking at $2,550 for your cell phone bill. Steep, very steep. If we look at the 36 months, then you're looking at just over $3,000 for cell phone bills over the course of 36 months, which is a fair bit more than AT&T. If we wanna get technical, it's $360 more than than at and so right now at and is the better deal if you want to buy an iPhone 13 through a trade-in phone deal. Lastly, let's take a quick look at what Verizon's cost looks like. 
Over the course of 24 months, you are looking at a $1,920 bill. So $1,920 for 24 months of service on Verizon. If we're doing the 30 month installment agreement, you are looking at $2,400. And if we look at the 36 month agreement and compare it to AT&T, you're looking at $2,880, which is a better deal than T-Mobile. It's only $180 more expensive than AT&T. So looking at this full picture, in the long run, AT&T is cheaper because you don't have to have as expensive of a plan to get the iPhone 13. On the downside, you are committed to AT&T for 36 months. If you leave early, then you have to pay off the rest of the phone on what you owe. You don't get to keep getting those free installment payments. Okay, now that we have established that AT&T is the best deal, at least for a single line plan, let's take a deeper look at what you need to do to get this deal, this trade and deal for a free iPhone 13 from AT&T. We're gonna quickly go over the details so you can have a seamless experience if you choose to go with AT&T. Before we jump into this, I am only looking strictly at AT&T's regular installment plan. We are not looking at AT&T Up Next, which is an early upgrade program from AT&T. If you wanna learn more about that, I have created a quick short on YouTube Shorts that you can look at. It's published right up here. And you can take a quick look there if you wanna be involved with AT&T up next. That costs $5 a month and you can upgrade whenever you want. You're not committed to a 36 month installment plan, but let's look at this installment plan right now. First things first, you have to have a device to trade in. I showed you a list of devices that are capable to trade in earlier. Take a look back there if you want to. I also have some links in the description that will help you decide if your phone qualifies or device qualifies to be traded in. You can trade in watches, laptops, smartphones, anything really that has a screen, you can trade it in and get some credit back to have a cheaper iPhone 13. Once you have the device that you wanna trade in, you know how much it's worth. Now it is time to, I recommend going to AT&T in person and signing up, but you can do it online. It's time to sign up for your unlimited plan. I recommend Extra, it's the cheapest at $75. If you wanna learn more about AT&T Unlimited Extra, you can check out our video breaking down everything you need to know about it up here. You will commit to, like I mentioned before, a 36 month installment agreement, which means you will be with AT&T for the next three years, unless you leave early and then you'll have to pay off the rest of your phone out of your own pocket. I really highly recommend this deal for people who know they like and love AT&T service. If you are a fan of AT&T, you know you like their coverage, then go for it. My family has been with AT&T since the beginning of time, so this is something that they would take advantage of and love to take advantage of. If you are maybe thinking about switching to AT&T but haven't tested out their coverage yet, I don't highly recommend taking this deal because then you could be stuck with a top-notch phone that has some great performance in your area if you don't know if AT&T covers your area. So I recommend testing out AT&T either through an MVNO or through AT&T themselves before signing up for this deal just in case you don't like their service. Once you do all that, you know the device you're gonna trade in, you have signed up for installment plans, you're gonna give AT&T your phone, then you'll just start paying for AT&T service, you'll start getting the credits in your bill two to three months after billing starts, and then you will be good to go. The credits that hadn't been paid until those two to three months will be brought back. So you might end up paying a bigger phone bill than you initially thought, but that'll all come back to you in the end, so don't really worry about that. Lastly, this deal is for current and new customers. If you're already on an AT&T unlimited plan, you just need to trade in your device and you are good to go. If you wanna switch, you can do that as well and no problems there. You just sign up for whatever unlimited you plan you want. That is at least $75 or up. So you have two plans. You have unlimited extra or unlimited elite and that's basically it. Now you have a free iPhone 13. You have spectacular service from AT&T who has the second most coverage in the nation right behind Verizon and some really great 5G speeds as well. I really do like this deal. It is great for people who know they love AT&T and don't mind signing a 36 month installment agreement. What I have done with my iPhones in the past is buy it outright from Apple, it comes unlocked, and now I don't have to worry about signing an installment agreement with AT&T, although I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. I just don't like installment agreements, just in general. I like to buy my phones straight out. I don't like feeling like I'm in debt, but for some people, I know that makes sense, or they, they just wanna keep more money in their pocket for longer, and they don't mind installment agreements. I think it's a great 
plan. What you can also do, like I said, is go to Apple itself, trade in your old device. It's not gonna be worth as much, but you can get some trading value from Apple, and then you can take your phone wherever you want and have a much cheaper cell phone plan. You could end up paying less altogether, paying a little bit more upfront for less of a trade-in value, getting the iPhone 13 and taking it to say visible or mint, and then your cell phone bill over the course of three years will be much lower. But it is all up to you. It depends if you love AT&T, if you want to stick with their service or T-Mobile or Verizon or whoever you go with for this deal. It is a great option, highly recommend it, but there are other options out there too, like buying straight out from Apple. You can also get the Apple credit card, which is 0% interest over the course of 24 months. If you want to lease or do an installment agreement from Apple, you can do that as well. It's not a bad option at all. Then you get a brand new iPhone 13 that's unlocked you can take anywhere. You can have interest-free financing and still have a really great experience on any carrier in the country. Which one of these trading deals would you go for or would you bypass the major carriers fully and go straight to Apple? I definitely want to hear from you. I'm Sherry Riggs. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV. Again, if you want to learn more about AT&T up next, I have created a YouTube short for that. We are getting more active on the short form videos. Let me know what kind of YouTube shorts you'd like to see, TikTok reels. We're creating them all. Thanks for watching again.